What is that? Hollywood, what is this thing on the back of my trailer? This is a double roller jaw crusher. It's a beast. It's a beast. Okay, we're gonna go test this thing. What do you think? Shout out to Keen Engineering, world's largest provider of portable mining equipment. They're letting us borrow and test in a production capacity this jaw crusher. How many, how many of these exist? One. Will it fit? Yeah. Mm, fits great. Yeah. Yep, that clears. Yep, that's clear. I love chain falls. There we go. I'll use my foot. Use my. Ooh. I don't know what that was. There we go. The power of the foot. We gotta do the block. Will we have enough room? I'm gonna. Yeah, we should. If not, I have to come back up. I just want to get the bearings in the in the little raceway they've made for it. Okay. Because there's no room. What's that do, Sean? Huh? This is the toggle. This is what um, pushes the. Uh, between, this is what's between the machine and the back plate. Like a spacer? Um, it's a toggle. How does yeah, it work? it's called the toggle. The toggle goes between the pitman jaw. The pitman jaw is the part that rotates. Yeah. And then there's a stationary jaw that it crushes against. Well, the bottom of the jaw is just floating. Like So the bearing, the top of the pitman jaw is on the eccentric shaft, right? It moves. Oh, yeah. The bottom of the jaw, it's just flapping around there. So what they do is they put this piece of metal between the bottom of the jaw and a plate that's adjustable and they have wow. a spring that holds it together to hold or a toggle hold. sorry it's called a toggle so the toggle gets held in place by spring tension and weight Ooh. and that's how the bottom of the jaw stays in place huh. otherwise it would just flop around okay but you can't have anything solid you can't have a bearing in there it's just you use the toggle it's, it's genius All yeah. right. and this is hardened this has been hardened yeah, I yeah. It. so uh you're gonna. You're sure there's gonna be enough room, and when you put those bearings on, then we can move this plate, right? Yeah. So Get now I gotta. The issue is um, we're too far um, this way, so it's not gonna rest against the bearings unless I pull on it. So. Well, we can shove a wedge in there. No, it's okay. I got it. Make sure that those it's on those pillow blocks. Or, That's what I'm trying to okay. figure out right now. Can you now. see them? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I do need to... It's really important that the it's within the uh, yeah, no. lines. Okay. Well, I also have to wind up the bolt holes. I need a piece of wood. How big? What size? Uh, I think like a, like a four by four. Nope, big. Um, two by four? Here's a couple wedges, customize your own. Yeah, I think a two by four and some wedgies will work. Yeah. 
More? I need a two by four. Two by four. Anything sitting over there will work. Yeah, you're on my mind. That's that's the one I wanted to have. There. Perfect. He said wedgie. Now I need to inspect to make sure we're in place. Because my desire, I don't know what that was. My desire is to put the bolts in and snug them so that way the, the bearings are attached and I can disconnect this deal. I think we got it. Can you see the two? Oh, we got holes, alignment, and everything. So, all right, how about the toggle? I'm not gonna do the toggle yet. I want to get it on the barrier. Are you sure we can? We're gonna find out. Okay. I'm gonna put a puck. Because I don't remember the toggle came off out of the last, right? Yeah, it came out when we pulled it out. Which means it should go in first. No, because because the spring is not attached to the, oh, the to the thing? jaw. To the jaw, right? It should be able to swing it out. Okay. And then shove it in there and let it drop, and okay. then the spring tension. Or, or rotate that so it's back. Uh, well, wherever I, the engine left, where the wherever the engine let it rest. Uh, sure. <laughs> I don't understand. Isn't there isn't there something that's that's pushing up against the? Uh, Not the bottom. It's stationary. That toggle that toggle that yeah. you want to put in there, it's stationary. It never moves. It it kind of it kind of does one of these in there. But it, it's stationary. Okay. And then there's a spring that holds it back. So without the spring, the bottom of the jaw, the pitman can swing freely. So we should be able to pull it, put the toggle okay. in and close it. Okay. The adventure continues with the gene. <laughs> the adventure continues with the keen jaw crusher. How's it going? Excellent. I'm about to drop the toggle in place. There's the toggle right there. <clears throat> so I gotta raise the jaw, the pitman up, just enough to where the toggle drops in. So I got it wedged underneath. I got the angle just right, so we'll see if this trick works. All right. There's the toggle right there. <clears throat> so I gotta raise the jaw, the pitman up, just enough to where the toggle drops in. So I got it wedged underneath. I got the angle just right, so we'll see if this trick works. There it goes. Okay, now I gotta take that block out underneath Sticking my hand in there, I gotta get the block out now. You're not gonna shake hands with danger? No, I already did that on Friday. <laughs> I didn't shake hands, we just talked a little bit. And we disagreed with each other. Yay! That's a technical tool right there. Okay, it's all tidied up. All the here? bolts are bolted in now, so I just got to go through and torque them down to 250 per the manufacturer's recommendation. And we'll give this thing a whirl. How did you get the compacted gravels out of the uh, bucket? From the top or the bottom? I'm doing the bottom first. No, what I meant was reaching the bolts from the top. Of the no, I, I can only do it from here.
No. Okay, we finished our run of a bunch of different samples through the Keen, big Keen double roller. Uh, sometimes you get these cornflakes, uh, it's just whatever getting packed as it goes through the roller. But yeah, this is a pretty decent classification. This is a, this is a pretty good crush. We did this bag, that one. And we did these guys from different locations. So we are, we've been busy. So I'm obviously now contaminating every bucket I touch. But if we get a half a gram, I want a half a gram or better per bucket. And then I know it's a good spot um, for hard rock. This is a friend of ours, his unmistakable paint job that he puts on everything he owns. Um, we'll get that out for him here shortly with the rest of the run. But yeah, we got we got plenty of plenty of stuff to go. So stay tuned until next time, and we'll run everything and show you the results.